And the name of the blue color is Kailua Blue. Kailua, oh, Kailua dream. Blue. Kailua Blue. I like that. Get a little Hawaiian <laughs> in here. It's here. The China is here. This is actually the first time I've seen everything oh. all at once. We've seen bits and pieces of it. The color is just, it's beautiful. It really, you guys, it really looks good. Sorry, I'm just taking a moment. <laughs> Today we're talking about a brand new state service of China. The Obama State China Service is on the table here to my left. This was specifically designed at the request of First Lady Michelle Obama to include some historic elements, some traditional elements, and some attempts at being modern and suitable to more modern cooking than perhaps some of the earlier state chinas that are regularly in use. What the chefs were telling us is that, you know, the plate structure of some of the old china doesn't work for modern plating because the circumference is smaller. So having something that matches with what food service looks like today in these days was, was very helpful. The first plate that you'd see on the table is a large uh, gold banded service plate with the presidential coat of arms at the center. It's matched with a number of pieces that have a brand new blue color. It's being called Kailua Blue by the First Lady in honor of the waters off of the President's home state of Hawaii. It's a color that she selected to be modern, but traditional enough that the China can be mixed and matched with the state Chinas in the more traditional primary color palette. The manufacturer is in Antioch, Illinois, so. So I got all kinds of home connections here. Mm -hmm. And we're to use it, we're using it for Tuesday for the Japan State Dinner. Beautiful. That's why we're unveiling it. There is a dinner plate, a white plate with just a gold rim that has the most historic precedent. It was designed using a service that then Secretary of State, James Madison, owned in 1806. Uh, would have been a personal China and was probably the service they used in the post-fire temporary White Houses when they had to bring a lot of their own personal things to help fill up uh, emergency government quarters. Um, but it's done only in, in white relief. So it's again, it's a, it's a modern statement using a 200 year old motif. We tried to tie in the old and the new, and I think this really does in a way that's still elegant um, and I think will be timeless. So, but you guys get the first look. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> The presidential coat of arms appears as is tradition on the first plate you see on the table, the service plate, and the last items you see on a, a formal dinner table, which is the dessert plate at the far right, and the little cup and saucer here at the center that would be the tea or coffee that would be served with the dessert course. So there are 11 pieces in the place setting. One new feature is a little individual terrine, and it's unprecedented in the China services that we have had in the White House up to this point. The terrine was something that the chef said, one of the reasons we don't do soups or interesting creations like that because we don't have any way to serve it. So we're very proud of them. <laughs> very proud. I will compliment you know? my wife. That's very Good. nice.